The challenge of the digital age manifests itself in the form of online shopping, e-reading, and many other online activities. Beating them is a tough nut to crack for traditional bookstores. But there is hope, as one bookstore in Hangzhou City in East China shows. The Fenglingwan Bookstore sits in the suburbs of Hangzhou, quite close to Zhejiang University. Its main target group is its teachers and students. Over the years, the 12-year-old bookstore has had its share of problems, from the SARS epidemic in 2003 to the advent of the digital age. But the store has held firm. Fenglingwan was one of the first bookstores in China to run into trouble when competing with new trends. But that was a good thing. Early meant we had time to react. Fenglingwan stuck with selling academic books rather than becoming a general bookstore. But it strived to become much more than a bookstore and explored new ways to make a profit. We've been here since 2007. We want to break the mold of how people perceive what a bookstore is. Traditional bookstores make money from the difference between the cost price and selling price. That has to change if we are going to survive into the 21st century. Today, the main 2,000 square meter bookshop has diversified. It has a cafe, art room, and a creative product center. It has become a cultural hub for the region and has attracted students from the nearby university. The store frequently organizes free opera performances, reading salons, and meet and greet events with well-known writers. All this has further consolidated its pivotal role as a cultural center in the region. But Fenglingwan is undertaking an even more creative mode of operation. In 2009, we tried something really new. We started offering cultural services to companies rather than just selling books. Fenglingwan started building private libraries, producing magazines, and organizing cultural activities from major Chinese companies like Alibaba, Tencent, and Wanke. This type of outsourcing now takes up 60 percent of Fenglingwan's revenues. Fenglingwan appears to have truly reinvented itself as its profits from selling paperbacks now make up only 10 percent of its total revenue. An ideal model, perhaps, for brick-and-mortar bookshops to survive into the future. Stanley Lee, CCTV.